Hey guys, this is Michelico. Welcome back to our channel. And today we find ourselves in none other than my color-coded closet. <laughs> no, I thought I'd take you a little bit behind the scenes instead of on location, the before we get there. Showing you some fits, how I pack, um, but we're about to leave in pretty much 24 hours. I'm cutting it close, but we're making our way to New York City. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and you watch all our other on location vlogs. But in the meantime, let's get packing. It's on now. We're getting into it. Okay, this is the other corner of my office, but I have all my outfits beautifully laid out that I'm taking on this trip. As you can see, there are some dominant colors, definitely pink, but I also have lime green, orange. I'm too excited for these outfits. I've done so much planning. I feel like I've been packed for weeks, but this is the first time it's all coming together. So what I'm gonna do is try on a couple of them. You're gonna let me know what you think in the comments down below, uh, but pretty much a, a little bit more behind the scenes is that we're going to New York for three days and then we're gonna hop over to the Hershey factory as well. And for some reason, I've been obsessed with it for years. I swear, uh, if you guys remember the Travel Channel and how they would do countdowns of the craziest theme parks in America and the Hershey uh, theme park was on there and we love chocolate, we love desserts, so just made sense and for some reason no oh, I know my husband is amazing and he remembered that I wanted to go and so when we booked this New York trip he said let's pair it together rent a car and drive over so we're doing it too okay so you gotta have outfits for New York which we're gonna go and see all the landmarks do a vlog that day we're gonna do a hotel review as well as a theme park review so make sure you stay tuned to see these outfits in action but let's give you a sneak peek first First up is the airport outfit. Now, before you go and call me extra, because I would too, I mean, lavender, skort with sports bra, this is so comfortable. We actually went on a hike in Portugal to um, the Pe Peña Palace. Incredible, definitely put it on your bucket list. But I wore this on our hike and it was like straight uphill, didn't have any problems. But how I'm gonna tone it down, Okay, bear with me, is this windbreaker I found. I am so proud of myself for this outfit and we'll see if I can get it over my hair right now, but it's got Barbie written all over it. Okay, is this not so cute? Oh my word, it's Adidas. Okay, and I, I got it last week and I went to put on the lavender and I think it just goes together so well. So I hadn't committed to being this extra at the airport, but now that it's on video, I kind of have to. And I have matching luggage. I just have to deliver, you know, like my watch is pink and my phone case is pink. So I'm just trying to coordinate and look all put together and stuff like only on vacation though. Next up, I'm going to be exploring all of New York and I'm going to be hitting the landmarks. Now, even though it's like 70 degrees in Washington this week, which is unheard of, it's March. Uh, it's pretty cold in New York. I think it's supposed to be a low of 28 and a high of 43. I'm not a stranger if it rains, so I'm not worried about that, but I did pack and I don't know if it'll come through this one piece for being cold, but let's not forget the touch of pink. If it's really cold, my uh, mother-in-law just gave me this coat and I lived in it when we visited our family. It is so cozy and comfortable. And then taking the camera, the external batteries, all the snacks, the food is gonna be phenomenal in New York. We'll go in this backpack, so black on black. Um, not to mention these sunglasses I saw on somebody's reel and I bought immediately. I think it's pretty, pretty styling. But if I overheat or I think I'm gonna overheat, I'm going to tone it down with another windbreaker. And um, this one's like off pink. So we've covered baby pink, off pink, dark pink, and there's one more dress that is extra pink. So. I got the girly girl down, but I thought this was pretty cute too. Are windbreakers making a comeback? But uh, shout out to my husband. I got all the pinks and lavenders. He has brought out such a feminine side in me and I swear I get all my style from him. There's even a reel that I made on our Michelico Instagram or 
and a short on YouTube, but it's like photos that used to be of me before I met him and then photos he's taken of me and it's night and day. I had no style and it's crazy. He's just brought it out of me. So shout out to my husband that all of a sudden I'm on our travel YouTube channel going through the, the fits uh, that I'm so excited to wear as we travel together. So again, he's awesome. This is another OG. I don't have my shoes picked out yet. I've had it for a really long time, but I love it. It's so classic. And the invite to the uh, cruise said dress to impress. And pink, of course. And also imagine me with a tan because I still haven't done my spray tan yet. Orange, cream trousers. I actually bought this for Spain and never wore it. So I'm excited it'll be making its debut in New York. Um, we're gonna be staying at the Westin in Times Square. And this is reserved for the hotel review. I'm gonna be pointing out all the amenities in this outfit, uh, but hotel reviews seem to be very popular on our channel and get a lot of positive feedback. So if you were gonna look up one that we've already made, I'd recommend the Athens one. That one blew my mind. It was like straight out of a James Bond film. But I'm really excited for this one as well because it's so centralized. We'll be able to go out, get some food, um, because New York, I cannot wait for the food, and then come back to our hotel, chillax, and start the next day and shoot another YouTube video. It's just gonna, this week is made for YouTube content. So it's coming up fast, guys. Stay tuned. Finally, Hershey's outfit. Green is making a comeback. At first I thought I was gonna go full neutrals, full browns, but then I'm like, no, life is in vivid color, and your green did so well when you were in Mallorca, Spain, you just had to bring it back. So it's a two-piece, that's a skirt. This one doesn't have a skirt, so I'm a little nervous, but uh, it does have a coat because it's not even supposed to be that nice of weather. I think Saturday is the only day it's supposed to rain. But we're in it for the content, we're in it for the experience, the journey, it doesn't matter, and you wear the outfit for the weather you want. So this will be for Hershey's uh, theme park. I thought it was cute. My husband thinks it's cute. That's all that matters. We're just gonna dive right into it and we're gonna start out with bags. Now, when I pack for even a week vacation compared to a month, me and my husband have been on all of them. I start out with my luggage and this one actually I got from Amazon. Comes in a three pack, three different sizes, but I use the carry on the most because we try not to check bags. He does. But uh, I, got a little uh, fashionable and got a pink one. And then I got my plus one bag that literally is so enormous. It's like a Mary Poppins bag, but it's my personal item, you know, like my purse. And I can fit so much into here, but because it's so big, I like to have smaller bags for my electronics as well as snacks that I bring on so I can know where everything's at. But my favorite part of this bag is literally that it attaches to your luggage because I'm always dragging my luggage to the airport and it has the handy dandy slip on. Okay, then the next bags you have to consider are your packing cubes. Now, I got these when we were going to Egypt and we were backpacking, but they have continued on through all of our travels since then. I love the tan color, goes with everything, even goes with the pink but it was you know, traditionally for uh, Egypt, whether you want to fold or roll, whatever method you like. I like the subcategories of this one's dresses, this one's dirty clothes, this one's gym outfits. It works for me. And then the last bag is of course for toiletries, which we will get into next. Bam, bam, look at that thing fly open. This is a favorite of mine because you can see everything and because you can hook it. It comes in handy, particularly for me, I've found, is that hooking it in bathrooms in cruises because there's not that much space and it kind of like sucks into the wall and you can throw everything back in. And these are really big pockets, so it kind of irks me because I like to be organized and put things away, but on vacation, everything just needs to go away and make sure you don't leave anything behind, so it works. Um, and then it delightfully folds back up and zips close and, um, 
I carry it with me on my carry-on. Always make sure that you have enough makeup before you go because I have definitely run out of foundation while we were traveling or forgotten this whole bag once in Leavenworth, whatever. Um, and two, these little toiletry containers, you can find them on Amazon really easy, obviously, but I get mine from Walmart and they're about four bucks and it's like a pack of eight different kinds of sizes. One thing I'll note is that I never pack soap. I just feel like it's universal. Lotion is a little hit or miss and shampoo and conditioner, absolutely not. But um, soap, yeah, just you're washing your body. It, it, you don't have to pack that. It's one less liquid. It's a, a little bit less of weight in your bag. But anyways, on to electronics. Now, obviously my phone is my favorite electronic, but coming in second is my brand new watch uh, that I just got because do steps in a foreign country actually count unless you count them and they tell you how much you went in elevation and the distance you went and the calories you burned? I don't think so. But coming in a solid third would be a Nintendo Switch. Now, I got this for my husband last year because he's really hard to get gifts for, but also because we fly on flights and you know, you see those memes where like a husband and wife are timing their movie perfectly right. This is the equivalent, but more interactive. Like it's an electronic board game. You can change out all the games and you're playing with one another, especially any of the Mario games are hilarious where you're like moving around and trying to get these action moves in and you're on a red eye and it's like three in the morning. It's just a good time. And you just need to distract yourself while you're getting from A to B because that's the worst part of traveling. And then all the other electronics because electronics are getting out of hand. You need your phone charger. You need your watch charger. You need your husband's phone charger because he has a different brand. You need your laptop, your headphone um, adjustables, your headphones, and then What's the other one? There's more wires, but I keep them all in one place. It's like a, a two piece. Oh, the camera that I'm using right now and all the extra batteries that I burn through because I talk so much. Uh, I love these little sub bags, I would say, that keep that giant bag organized. If you have a designated place, you can't leave it behind. So these, these are the packages, the electronics that I recommend uh, and toiletries. And then what else is on the list? The fits. Boom, just like that, all the clothes are back on the hook. Now, if only it was that easy when you were packing and trying on clothes. But overall, I just wanted to give you an overview of the things that I do when I pack for big trips, small trips, the fun outfits that I have coming up for all of our other YouTube videos. But this is not a usual video that we shoot, so make sure you let me know what you think in the comments down below. And tomorrow, we will be waking up and giving you all the tips and tricks that you need to know before you go to New York and Mitch, of Michelico will be joining me too. So I can't wait to see you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow morning.